So he is the president of the organization, let's get it right, for culture of Hispanic origins. He goes by the name of Walter Omar. Let's give it up. Oh, oh shit. Okay, what can I do? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> It's getting hot in you tonight. Jesus. I wait till Mark Anthony finish. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I'll give me another. Oh, come here. I love all the sugar tonight. Thank you so much for coming. Here. No, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure. It's a Definitely. pleasure. Definitely. Before we even get into anything, uh, we've been friends for a while on Facebook. Yes, we have. Yes, Definitely. we have. A little and bit back and forth for a little while. Yeah. Yes. And I seen your work. It's a very very inspirational, very to the point, and you, you really fight the cause with mm -hmm. it. And we're gonna talk more about that in a minute. Um, and Thank I'm just, you. again, he's, he's, I'm, I feel like I'm in heaven right now, so. Woo, all right, <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, baby, okay, okay. Now, let's tell, tell us the viewers at home watching a little bit more about who you are. Okay, um, I'm the president of the Organization for Culture of Hispanic Origins. Mm -hmm. We're a nonprofit organization that provides cultural, educational, and mental health services to the community. Uh, one of our main factors that we are working on right now is uh, redeveloping Puerto Rico. Mm. Okay, Puerto Rico has been hit hard since the hurricane, and there was a lot of things that Puerto Rico still needed, and it's been two years later. So myself, with my colleagues, along with the organization, are developing different little projects to help uh, reinvigorate Puerto Rico. Exactly, exactly. Actually, we're going to talk more about that in a minute. we got a clip, actually, we're going to show the viewers in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in a minute, in a minute. Uh, but I want to get to know a little more about you. So, um, actually, the next thing I want to talk about. Oh, thank you for the highlights. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, I know you just mentioned about the films. Give me more detail about the films. Like I say, you mentioned about Hurricane Maria that happened right. and everything else. Right. Yeah. Well, um, the film talks about Puerto Rico and the economic crisis. It yes. breaks everything down. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to Puerto Rico oh, and the United States and the history between the two of them and what is actually happening. Okay. You hear a lot of propaganda about the money that's being sent to Puerto Rico that's yes. being misused, where the money going to and so on. Corruption, there I have is to a, say. There is a lot of untold history between Puerto Rico and the United States that most people are aware of, okay. are unaware of, even the Puerto Rican community. Like, for example, m many Puerto Ricans don't know that it, w it used to be illegal to fly the flag in Puerto Rico. Really? It was illegal, okay? That was in the 1950s. Oh, wow. It was illegal to fly the flag in your own country. I didn't know that. It was illegal to talk about independence for Puerto Rico. Mm. Um, there, were, there were many different things that, that were um, illegal in Puerto Rico be because of the United States. The yes. United States implemented uh, these situations on the island. Oh, my so, God. Um, our community is very unaware of what is happening, and that's one of the reasons I felt the need to create this film, mm -hmm. because the film explains everything in detail. Uh, it stars Nelson Dennis. He is the author of uh, War Against All Puerto Ricans. Wow. Uh, he was a, yeah, he was a, a former uh, assemblyman, and uh, he, you yeah. know he, he was ve he was very uh, um, very um, very powerful in the movie, Amazing. and uh, he's actually uh, a big portion of the movie. And I think we have a clip. Yes. That's uh, ready to go. That's the films, uh, uh, Colonization is Extinction? Colonization is Extinction, yes. Okay, definitely. Let's check it out. I have a political mentor, Lucas Garcia, who says that our goal is to make ourselves obsolete. You want to be a revolutionary, you want to be an independentista, you want to be a socialist, your goal is to make yourself not needed anymore. And I can't wait for the day when I don't have to say free Oscar Lopez Rivera anymore, or free Ana Belén Montes. I, I look forward to the time when these people are no longer in jail and living the lives they're supposed to. Politically and economically, Puerto Rico is in a real mess. So they put Puerto Rico against the wall now, and there's no there's no Chapter 9 bankruptcy protection. So what you're getting is, you're getting, if this is allowed to continue, you're going to have the gentrification of an entire island. In the next 20 years, if this doesn't change, Puerto Rico will be the same as we know it. That's why Puerto Rico needs to make a move right now and, be, and get independent. Colonization leads to extinction.
applause for that. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. And um, you did that, that came out this year, I believe, right? No, the, the film came out uh, about uh, two years ago, and oh. it's, it's been circulating. Amazing. Um, I've done seven film festivals. It, uh, it recently won the Newark Latino Film Festival, which was about maybe two months ago. Oh, my congratulations. Was, thank you, thank you. It was uh, our, our latest award. And uh, we've circulated it all over. It's in Boston. We've done it in Boston, uh, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, mm. and uh, we're looking to do it in Puerto Rico. We're, we're trying yes. to take it everywhere we can. I was going to say that because a lot of people, especially in our island, I'm mm -hmm. Puerto Rican too, so I, I relate much well. We talk about, mm -hmm. especially with. Don't get me started. I have to mention him, Trump. <laughs> all I gotta say is this: Thank God he's getting impeached. That's all I have to say because mm -hmm. I don't want to get really into politics. But right. um, I feel like honestly, what happened to Hurricane Maria? Mm -hmm. My point of view is, I feel like we got push back. You know, it, mm -hmm. and I, you mentioned I could, when you talked that said corruption because we know how the government down there is. Mm -hmm. And the, the, I think it was the governor, he got uh, kicked out, I believe, right? Um, right, the, the governor, yeah. uh, Ricky Rosselló, he was forced yeah. to resign, but it, we, we substituted one for the other. See, mm -hmm. what, what people don't really understand about what's happening in Puerto Rico, people are always talking about corruption. Mm -hmm. Corruption, 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 yes. you know, that the government is, and not to say that it's not. There is corruption in Puerto Rico, but there's corruption everywhere. There is corruption that everywhere. Is like Fidel Castro said, you know, corruption around the ankles is okay. Corruption mm. around the throat is not okay. That's a bad thing. You know. Okay. And and you know, quite frankly, um, this country in particular is not in any position to talk about corruption anywhere else, considering how mm. this country was formed. Yes, you know, this country was built on the backs of slaves, and they created this country uh, committing genocide against the indigenous people, and they created the, it's this country's wealth. Uh, based on on this history, so, it, so it's true. the last person that should talk about corruption. Mm -hmm. But but that aside, um, we do have some problems in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, Puerto Rico is controlled by the United States. Everything that happens in Puerto Rico is dictated Definitely. by the United States. They determine the policy. They determine the economics. They determine everything that's happening on the island. Exactly. Put the 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 people in Puerto Rico, like the governor, he's he's allowed to operate the day-to-day -day operations. But it, it's 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 on a it, it, it's baseless. I mean. For example, when the when the when the deck first came out prior to the hurricane, um, he was asked to present to the fiscal control board, mm -hmm. which is what was created by the U.S. government to determine how the economics of the island would yeah. the, what, what the future would be for the the economics of the island. Mm -hmm. Now, if the financial control board, the fiscal control board, or La Junta, that they like to call it, oh, wow. um, has this authority, what is the purpose of the governor? because the governor is supposed to run the island of Puerto Rico. Exactly. Right? He's supposed to lead, be the lead on the island. And yet, the United States uh, puts together this panel of, of, uh, of former politicians and bankers and judges and so on to determine what the future of the island. And then he would have to present his economic plan to the fiscal control board. And if the mm. fiscal control board approves it, then they would follow. And if they reject it, yep. then it's null and void. So what is his job? as you governor see. of Puerto Rico. It's, it's just like he's there as an image, basically. Right. Yeah. The, the, the government of Puerto Rico is basically a dummy government. It just, it's, it's there to put in place just to, as, just for, or for uh, what I like to call, uh, um, it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it, well, basically, said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a dummy government, you yeah, know. It's, it's there just for looks. Yeah. Everybody has a job, you have the mayors, you have the governors, you have so on, but they have very little control of what actually goes in and out. Oh, I was in man. Puerto Rico for nine weeks after the hurricane. Oh, wow. I was there uh, repairing the power lines because I'm a, I'm a lineman by trade. Oh, wow. Tell and, us, yeah, tell us. And, and I yeah. saw what was happening firsthand. Okay. Okay, I saw what was happening between FEMA, Army Corps of Engineers, and any materials that needed to, to come in and out. You mm -hmm. know, sh uh, people were sending containers, shipping containers of items wow. that people needed with generators, uh, you know, food, water, medicine, and they would have to sit in the docks on, on, in San Juan and they had to be inspected. Oh my God. And, and uh, people were dying waiting for things. But the one thing that never stopped, you know, in Puerto Rico was the drug trafficking. The, the a drug trafficking that, that never subsided in Puerto Rico. That's you know? heavy down there. Yeah, yeah. well, because I was working in La Perla, mm -hmm. uh, which is basically oh, one of the, the worst, yeah. it's the worst neighborhood in all of Puerto Rico, I you know? And, and that was the area that, that I was working, working in to, to restore the, the power for the people of Puerto Rico. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and um, again, uh, you know, it, that, that drug trade never stopped. But in the, in the film, it also shows you some of the other uh, problems in Puerto Rico. And I think we have another clip oh, yes. uh, coming up that we can show to, to show second part. Of, no, the clip. The okay, yeah, clip. okay. Yes, I think we have another clip coming up. Let's get to that.
That's what they, that's, it's not the United States of America, it's the United Sociopaths of America. Well, if we look at American history, that's what forcible relocation is something that it has always been as American as apple pie racism and uh, colonialization. Um, the gag law, where it was illegal to fly the flag, where it was illegal to talk about uh, independence for Puerto Rico, and if you did, you were thrown in jail. They, they were uninformed about the sterilization of Puerto Rican women throughout the island in the, in the 60s and 70s and even into the 80s. Who funds the sterilization projects? The United States government funded. Uh, Congress funded these projects. Albizu I, I, Campos said it well, well that, that uh, the uh, U.S. isn't interested in the bird, birds, just the bird cage. for that. <laughs> I mean, I try, it's a clip, though, but we show how real it is in Puerto Rico. And right, right. And th that's a scene where, um, out of Nelson's book, um, mm. that's a Puerto Rican nationalist that he was one day, he was finally dressing up wow. um, to go out and, and, and march. That was uh, March, 31st, March 1st um, in the 1950s when, um, I'm sorry, in the 1930s when uh, Don, Don, Don Pedro Albizu Campos was in jail and they were wow. marching. To, to get him that. out of jail, yeah, and wow. um, that was that was the the soldier that day getting ready, getting dressed wow. to go and, and to protest and not to go out and cut cane, and that was we we took that right out of Nelson's book and we kind of did the voiceovers with different people who were in the in the film. We had, like I said, we had uh, Nelson Dennis who was in the film, oh, um, um, Camilo Matos who was head of the Puerto Rican Nationalist Party, uh, Benjamin Rosado who was another com mm -hmm. political uh, uh, community leader, okay. and, and Juan Gonzalez from Democracy Now!, Amy oh. Goodman. We have all these different clips and uh, we, we put them all together so we kind of put together that little sound bite so just to give uh, an idea of what because there's a lot of different things that's that's happening and that, and that the film covers. No but what I like what you're doing is you're bringing awareness to people mm -hmm. out there like myself I didn't know some of the stuff you mentioned tonight was like mm -hmm. wow a spellbound like you know people got to be awake they got to see what they got to go to the country their island their homeland like mm -hmm. see what's going on help out because you know how back in the day celebrities when they had this happened Hurricane Maria which is what I'm going to show you in a minute Okay, uh, what happened to Hurricane Maria? You know, celebrities are coming and bringing money for mm -hmm. fundings for people, like you said, like who are homeless, you know, and then, and, and, but <laughs> they were not really there to help. So right. that money, like you said, you don't know if it just magically disappeared. And then these people, like you said, they committed suicide. Right. You know, they were, they, were, they had lost the hope. They lost everything. Mm -hmm. You know, they had their whole, whole life in the home, and it's been drained. I mean, it's been washed away. Right. You, you have know? you have a lot of U.S. US contractors that are operating in Puerto Rico. Yeah. So the money, the so-called money that the government is giving to rehabilitate Puerto Rico is going to the U.S. contractors, and they're not oh, doing the sufficient job yeah. that they're supposed to. You have about seven major contractors like Turner Construction and some of these other construction companies that are operating in Puerto Rico, okay. but yet over 30,000 homes still don't have rooftops. Now, how can that be? This is an island that's 100 by 33 miles, yeah. and yet there's still over 30,000 homes that don't have rooftops, and it's been over two years. Oh, my and God. And you're still suffering with this, with seven major contractors that are operating out of the island. And, uh, and so it, it's the same. So the money is going to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. It's going to these U.S. contractors, but the, the work is not done. getting done. But they're saying that the Puerto Rican community or the Puerto Rican government is stealing the money. I you know, it's just like Vieques. Like, and I cover that in the film about Ooh. about the island of Vieques and the bombing of Vieques. You oh, know, that's another one. You know, yeah. the, 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 island, the island of Vieques was in, inhabited by, by the Puerto Rican people. Yeah, it's like and, the sister island. Right, yeah. and mm -hmm. they were bombed since the 1940s right up to about 2003. Oh. They were using that island to, to practice bombing raids. But if... I mean, not to cut you off, but the mm -hmm. question, did they use that for the war, I believe? Or right. was like, they since World War II, and... since World War II, right up to 2000, about 2003 yeah. or 2006, if I'm, uh, I might be mistaken, okay. um, they were practicing bombing maneuvers, so they were dropping bombs with uranium, oh aluminum, into the ocean, onto the sand. Now, that island today has still, it's about less than 10% than, uh, of that island has been cleaned up 
since the bombing. Now, they left in 2003. It's, it's, it's been many, many years, and yet have cleaned up less than 10% of the island. Oh, my God. You know, I, and that island has the highest cancer rate in all of Vieques. I was going to ask you, because actually I heard stories that some of the kids became deformed That's because right. of the, the right. chemical that they have. 95% of the people in Vieques, they have a contamination of aluminum, uranium in their hair. Like, they, they went around, there was, a, there was exams that were done to the people of the island of Vieques. And this is based on this so-called cleanup that's been happening for the last 15, 20 years. Man. And over $150 million has been poured into the island of Vegas to do the cleanup, and yet less than 10% of the island has been clean. Oh, my God. But I, I tell you, that's something, though. Um, actually, talking about that, we have something here. Um, you guys could zoom in. Um, well, it's kind of, we got to zoom in a little more we can. Uh, talk more about what we have here, um, okay. Walter. Yeah. Aside from my, my, my struggle for Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. this is one of the things that I decided that's very necessary uh, for the Arab community. Um, this is a monument that's going to be erected over at Taino Towers. Um, it's going to stand about 14 feet tall, about 4 feet wide, and it has the number on there, 4645. That is the 4,645 people that died because of the hurricane. Okay, so we're going to, we plan to erect this monument on, by September 20th mm -hmm. of 2020 for the three-year uh, anniversary. And we're working with, my, with Maria Cruz from Taino Towers. Oh, wow. You know, she's, she's a wonderful woman. And I'm glad to be working with her. And if anybody wants to get involved, that they want to contribute, yes. uh, they can go to the website. It's www.theorchard.net. Okay. And they can find out how they can get involved. We have sponsorship packages. We have different levels of packages that people, uh, if they want to contribute, whether okay. it's $5 or $5,000, so people can get involved. They can make a contribution. And, and this will stand for the people of Puerto Rico. Definitely. Oh, man. This guy, let's give applause for that. <laughs> yeah. This guy's a, and I'm like, I'm going to inspire everybody today. You guys are. Keep doing the work you're doing, man. Keep up. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You, thank and, and you know what not to say, but you have to expose the people out there, especially what they're doing raw to people like us and anybody mm -hmm. in that nature, and show them, you know, this is the truth. This is what I'm going to present Absolutely. to you. And to sorry, that's how it is, you know? Yeah, we're not finished yet. Yeah, you're right. Oh, no, no. I got more. I got more. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> Actually, no, that's the next question. I was going to ask you, um, what do you think needs to be done? Uh, we just talked about a little bit about it, but uh, for your point of view, when you go there, like in an island, and you see mm -hmm. what's going on, what do you think really needs to be done to be cleaned up and be fixed all over again for the island? Well, the the, the problem is, is that once again, it's being ruled yeah. by an alien government. So we we don't have the we don't have the means to control our own future, exactly. and that is the problem number one. We, we have to wait to get relief from the United States for aid for hurricane. You know, if there's a problem with the debt, we have to wait. Everything, we That's have to basically sad. be, we are dependent on an alien government to provide us with what we need. Exactly. So the first thing that Puerto Rico needs is freedom and independence because That's that is right. what this country apparently stands for. You know, this country had the, it, its war, exactly. right? And we celebrate it every year, July 4th, 1776. This country celebrates its independence yes, from yes. the British crown. Mm -hmm. So obviously they believe in some form of freedom. Mm -hmm. So I believe that that freedom should be extended to the same people that they've colonized. Exactly. So if we can achieve that first, then we can create a dialogue on what we can and and what should be done for the people of Puerto Rico. You know, people are afraid of independence. They hear the word and, and they're, they're petrified, but they don't mm -hmm. understand that they were already operating on an independent level. When I was there in Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. I saw people where aid wasn't able to reach them in oh, the mountains wow. where I was working. And they were going door to door themselves, checking on neighbors. I Do you need water? Mean. Do you need food? Do you need ice to preserve your stuff? And they were operating independent. They still had no light. They still had no running water. But yeah, they had yeah, what yeah. they needed, and they were doing it among themselves. For months, yeah. they were operating on an independent level without any assistance from the U.S. government. So it can be done. It's just a matter of, of changing the mindset. You know, the mindset has to be changed, you know, of, of, of the, the colonized mind. You know, we have this Stockholm syndrome where we've fallen in love with our oppressors and we can't imagine a future, you know, without them. So we, we need to try to break that wall. Exactly. And, and if we can attain that level, then we can see the future. You know, we can negotiate with neighboring nations if Puerto Rico became free. You know, we can negotiate with Japan, China, yes. Russia, France, Germany, Cuba, all of Central, South America. We can create trade. Like we could that. do all these things, Instead but, of being but we first have to be free from the U.S. bonds mm. in order to create this new form of government in Puerto Rico. Exactly, exactly. You know, but we have to break the mental chains. That's, oh, God. That's the hard part. That's what we can't get rid of, the, is the, 
the mental chains. So true, man. Oh, man, I, I could have a whole conversation for you, man. Because Puerto Rico, I love I've been in years, but I feel the <laughs> pain, baby. Uh, we're going to go over it quickly. Uh, what are your goals for 2020? And do you have any other projects you're working on, film projects? Well, um, I do. I would like to do another film. Um, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, you know the, the funding is hard. Um, um, you know that's that's always the key. Exactly. Uh, my producer is my wife, Jessica Alomar. Uh, you know she's. Uh, you know she, <laughs> it's hard. It's it's a bit difficult. I would like to do another film as almost kind of a follow up, but mm -hmm. there, there's already a couple of films regarding that uh, that interest. You know, there's a follow up onto you know what has happened in Puerto Rico. You know what what the, what's currently happening now. So. Right now, my I do my main project right now is the project to erect the monument. Okay. I I do have a project, but I I don't want to I don't want to get that out. Not I don't want to okay. put it out there just yet. We'll have them back for that. Uh, <laughs> right. I don't want to I don't want to put it out there just yet. I yeah. mean, if the, if I can get this off the ground, this is this will be uh, awesome. another another major advance yeah. uh, for the people of Puerto Rico if, if I can make this happen. But right now, my major project is this is trying to get this. Uh, this a monument erected, and if I can, I, I'm I'm willing to put them in uh, in in awesome. more than one state. I mean, I'll do it in Florida. I'll Push do it, it you know, out I'll, there. I'll do it, you know, anywhere. <laughs> yeah, you know, what I mean, I'll get it out there because we need something. There's nothing here like this anywhere for us. You know, exactly. you, you know, you have monuments and statues all over the United States of these, you know, terrorists of, of Columbus oh, and all these people who committed genocide, and okay. these people are honored. You know, they have all these memorials and all the, you know what Don't I mean? Don't get me started. <laughs> so we need we need something yeah. that's created by us. And that's for, for us, us. Exactly. right? So this is uh, this is my my current project right now, and I have awesome. something down the line. Hopefully, that uh, you know I'll be able to talk about soon. Awesome, great. And also, let them know your social media where they could find you. Okay, yes. uh, my website is www.theocho.net. It's on Facebook. Um, uh, my name is Gualterio Alomal on Facebook. Uh, I'm not very good with the social media. I have like oh, my other people that handle that kind of stuff. Whatever you got, they could find you. <laughs> That's the you main know, thing. You're but, good. You're um, good. Just go to the website. If you go to the website, you can you can definitely reach me there. Um, okay. If you want to get involved, if you want to volunteer, yeah. If you if you want to lend a hand, if you want to know more, and the the we have the film available yeah. as well, so people can go there. Oh. They can purchase the film. Can you get it at Amazon or no? Um, no, I I don't want to put it on Amazon. If I put it on Amazon, then I can't enter it into film festivals. Oh, that's, that's the a, thing. That's yeah, a that's the thing. So I have I have that right there, but I, okay. But um, they can go to the to the website and they can purchase the film. The film okay. is available for purchase, and I do screenings. Right. Oh. So after the after the film screening, I sit down and I can talk to people and I can tell them what has happened, what's currently happening, like and what they want to do, and what they can do if they want to get involved. Definitely. Well, guys, let's give it up for Walter Almar. I got it right. Almar, Almar. I, I'm, 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 I, I got something in there right. <laughs> thank you so much for being thank on the you. show. Thank you for having me. No, thank, thank you, you. Having and me. we're going to have him next, soon, next year, so stay tuned for that. And we'll be right back on the Virgin Spy TV show.